I'm on my MacBook 24 seven, which means that things can get cluttered and messy real quick if I'm not constantly reorganizing my files. This year, I wanted to turn over a new leaf and make my digital space an easier place to manage and sort through. This is like my online home, so I have to do some spring cleaning here. Recently, I've been seeing a bunch of TikToks where people create these minimal wallpapers that let you visibly separate your folders into different sections, which makes it easier to find the files that you're looking for. I think this is such a genius idea and I have no clue as to why I didn't do this before. I went ahead and created one on Photoshop and I'll have the template linked down below for anyone that wants to download it. I kept mine really simple so it's easy to replicate. You can honestly have fun with this and add whatever you may like. Some people have titles to label each box, but I'm just going to color code the folders instead. I'm the kind of person that likes to visit and bookmark a bunch of pages all the time but what seems to happen is that I'll forget about half the things that I bookmark and then it will be really time consuming to sort through everything and it can basically just be a huge mess in the end. So I'm really glad that a site like Identity exists which helps me organize and declutter the whole experience. Identity is a personal information manager that lets you organize everything you do online in one simple place so you can keep all your passwords and sites that you visit frequently all in one area and it just makes a whole internet experience so so easy all right let's go on a little tour of what my identity dashboard is looking like first up we got my email platforms i only use gmail and hotmail school i only have the waterloo portal shopping which is my favorite category and i'm so so happy to have all the sites that i visit in one space next i have all my frequently used social media platforms then I have video for all of my streaming services and lastly work which has all the sites that I use for intern and video inspiration for YouTube so just nice and simple. If you ever happen to not be able to find a tile you can just use their search function to launch a site all you got to do is click on the tile and it will redirect you to where you want to go simple and easy. Here I am just adding my Goodreads tile you add a link to the website add the logo put your username password category tags which will let identity know where to sort this tile into. You can put it in multiple categories if you would like. Identity also lets you save your passwords, usernames, and credentials within the tiles. Let's say that I'm not logged into my Twitter, but since I saved it on Identity, they will remember for me. They also let you create to-do lists and little notes on the side. I already have a pre-existing one, but I'll make one right now to show you what you can do with it. Here I am making my weekly school checklist. It's the end of the semester, so a bunch of things are about to be due all in a short span of time, and I'm about to get overwhelmed. But what I absolutely love is their little due date feature which highlights deadlines to ensure that you don't miss it and i just love it i think it's so cute i use my google calendar all the time so what's really nice is the ability to sync up your calendar onto here you go to app settings advanced settings put in calendar day copy and paste this link which will be down below then when you go back to your dashboard you should see the little icon and it will ask you to connect to your google account simple and quick if you're interested in checking identity for yourself, make sure to click on the link below to get started. It's completely free, so it's definitely worth trying out. I love my hard drive. I take this baby with me everywhere. This is such a vital piece of tech that I carry it around with me at all times. I honestly don't know what I was doing before I had this. I have friends that don't own a hard drive and to me that is shocking. I have over years of memory saved on here that never would have been able to stay on my laptop due to the space. Mine is around one terabyte so there's lots of room for me to store all my video footage and photos. I will have a link down below. It's also nice to have this just in case your laptop ever crashes so you'll know that you're able to salvage some of your prized photos and videos i know some people like to use google drive and like the cloud but for me i like to keep it simple and have like the physical hard drive with me i wanted to show you one of the things that i love with using it so recently i've been moving back and forth with like my workstation when it comes to editing and what i love is that because i have my project files saved on my hard drive that means i can switch in between my pc right here when i'm editing and then also so on my MacBook because sometimes I like a change of scenery, a change of environment. So it's always good to just like go back and forth and having this hard drive makes it super easy because I can save my Premiere Pro um, project files on here and I'll show you guys right now. So here's the stuff on my hard drive. I still have to clean it up. 
And just an hour ago, I was actually just upstairs on my MacBook editing this video, but I was like, you know, I'm kind of hungry, went down to get a snack, and then I just decided to edit down here. This is what makes it so easy. I have all of my Premiere Pro project files on here, so then I can just go ahead and switch back and forth. I thought I would share some of my most frequently used apps and extensions as well. We've got Notion, which I'm not going to go too in depth with because I already have like three whole videos dedicated to this lifesaver. I will link all of them down below. Omwriter I started using because I've been writing a fictional novel with a friend. So I was looking for a distraction free writing app that had typewriter noises. It is paid. It's definitely worth it given how often I use it. It gets rid of all your screen distractions. So all you have to do is just focus on hitting that word count and finishing your your chapter. Now for Chrome extensions, the first one is CoffeeLings. This I just started using and I love it so far. If you watch my videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of coffee. So this little mood tracker that has this coffee theme definitely caught my attention. It's like a mini journal for you to track how you feel every single day, write a little blurb if you want. And what's really nice is that you can take a look at your general mood at a month's overview. So this I discovered from TikTok. I was using this site since the beginning of quarantine because I missed working in public places. They have sounds that mimic what you would typically hear in your average office. You can adjust the sounds. So if you don't like the sound of a dog barking, you can turn that off. I love it. I use it all the time as a focusing tool while I'm working. Lastly, I have Forest. I honestly didn't know that they had a browser extension too. I've had the app for years, so it's nice to know that I can sync up my account with both platforms. This extension lets you plant a tree while you set a timer for how long you want to be productive for and you can block sites on your laptop so you don't get tempted all right so thank you so so much for watching to the end i hope you guys enjoyed this video if there's any tips that you would like to share in terms of how you organize your own laptop feel free to share i would love to know more and i just love reading your guys comments and whatnot so yeah i hope you guys have a lovely lovely evening day or night and i will see you soon bye